Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Late Night Part 11. Um, I finished refurnishing the house. As you guys can see, I have one simillion left. So there was a lot that I I couldn't do that I wanted to do. Um, I ran out of money, and of course I don't use cheats, so I worked with what I had. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what I did uh, to change the house around... Um, I seriously think the people at EA who furnished some of these homes are, you know, on drugs at the time. But, hey, whatever. Um, I mean, some of the time, because sometimes it's awesome. Like, sometimes they do an amazing job. Other times, it's just like, what was going through your brain? Um, but anyways, so I'm going to show you guys what I did. I'm not saying I'm, like, awesome or anything at it, but it doesn't look very goofy or crazy. Just normal. Um, all right, so this is Liam's room. Uh, Liam, for his room, I used high the high end loft stuff set, um, set uh, stuff pack, um, to furnish his room and things like that. He has the the you know the the master suite of the house, I guess you can call it. Um, but this is what that looks like. I'm gonna put the walls up here. This is, it's very, again, I ran out of a lot of money. His room is actually the room I did last. And that's when I was, I was really, you know, moving things around, trying to, trying my hardest to fit everything. But I think it looks very bachelor-esque. <laughs> um, and then on the patio, there was a hot tub already there. I changed the color a bit and then I had some stuff over here. Ran out of money, had to delete it. And then his bathroom, obviously ran out of money for that. I did not realize that light was there or that light was there. Um, but yeah, so this is his bathroom. Uh, kind of matches his room. I think it came out really nice though. It's very modern, which is what this house is. So I wanted to keep that modern feel throughout most of the house. So when you go down Liam's elevator, you go into this room here. Uh, this room over here is like, this is like the main room, I guess. There are a living room area, kind of, I guess you can say. Um, I put the giant TV <laughs> on the windows, I know, uh, from Showtime. I added that, and uh, the furniture that you see here is all from Late Night or the base game. Um, let's see here. I put in a bar, and of course a pool table. I wanted to put some stuff there run out of money how to delete it um but yeah so also when you come in you can go yes you can go down this hall to Kayla's room and I use the Kingdom of Cambodia uh, set from the Sims 3 store to furnish her and Big Hartley's room um I have so many sets that I rarely use it and I always want to I always want to put my stuff to good use um, and I believe that one of you guys gifted me this, so I definitely wanted to use that. Um, and I love this set. It's so, it's so earthy. You know what I mean? This thing, I have no idea where this came from. It's from the store. Don't ask. It just looks nice in the room. Um, <laughs> and this is what her room looks like here. And then you go over here. There's a little television. I tried to put, uh, some sort of entertainment in all of their rooms. Um, but this is what that looks like and you guys can also get a better view of this set too here um, And then the bathroom is furnished with the Kingdom F Cambodia set as well And this is what that looks like Very simple, okay So that's pretty much it. Um, you can go then you go do you take the stairs or the elevator? Oh, you take the stairs you take the stairs <laughs> down to obviously this is the main entrance um i did not change a single thing here um it looked fine to me but it's the main entrance of the entire house so yeah you go in and i added this here this came with late night uh, this little fish tank here you guys can see it's digital fish and you can feed the digital fish too so that came along with it um, and then you go through this hallway into the dining room where I use the late night um, dining set, I guess. Um, and also I added this the chocolate fountain because um, I never did a overview 
of the circus set for you guys like I promised. I got so busy with everything and it's like, oh my god, it's like a month old now, so there's no point. Um, so I, I figured I could at least show you guys what the chocolate fountain uh, how that works and what that looks like eventually. I've only used it once myself um, and it wasn't for very long. I just wanted to see what it was about. Um, but yeah, this is what their dining room looks like. Very simple, basic. I have no idea what to do with dining rooms. Um, and then you go into the kitchen area right here. Very, very modern and all over the place kitchen. Um, I use Late night, of course. Uh, late night, seriously, one of my favorite kitchen sets in the entire world, especially when it comes to building a modern home. Uh, this is what that looks like. You have your little knife set over there and some stuff. Um, these little trinkets here are from the Sims 3 store, in case you guys were wondering. Um, let me see here. Can I turn on all lights? Oopsie, set intensity, brights, all lights. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much what that little area looks like, and I, this is all from late night as well. I have no idea how that ended up like that, but, uh, let me fix it so they don't get that nasty little moodlet. Oh, we don't have enough money. Uh, let's kill a light. Let's kill this one. Move that one there. That, that's just awesome. Okay, so that is what the kitchen looks like. And then when you go upstairs, I believe going upstairs just leads to, yeah, the upstairs where they can go. Um, but when you go into the kitchen and you go downstairs, it leads to the basement right here, the store here. It leads to the basement slash garage area. So let's show you guys that really quick, which is kind of over here. Okay, so this is the garage. Uh, these cars were here first. I know I could have easily deleted one of these cars um, to... I could have easily deleted one of these cars to um, have more money, a lot more money at that. But I decided against it. I figured why not give Mona and Liam a car. I will definitely give Kayla one when we can afford it. I wish they had life insurance money like they did in The Sims 3, in The Sims 2. So when Big Hartley dies... Um, 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 God, blank. When he dies, we could use his life insurance money to buy a car. <sighs> Brain fart, sorry. <laughs> um, there's another, um, professional bar here for Kayla to do some mixing on. Um, and this room here was already kind of set up as a band room. Um, but I just kind of changed the colors a little bit and uh, this guitar here is from the Sims 3 store and it looks pretty awesome. I don't know if you guys can see it too well, but it's just, it looks, it's seriously built out of like metal or something. It looks awesome. Um, so they have a band room now. We can actually have some band practice. And then last but certainly not least, um, let's go into Mona's room here and put the walls up for it. Uh, this is Mona's room. Of course, she has this little thing here. Um, she's a vampire, so I use the gothic. I use the gothic um, glamour set from the Sims 3 store that I did a video on a while ago. A great set, amazing set. Um, if I can remember, I will try to um, put an annotation somewhere on the screen. Um, I could make a note to myself, but whatever. Um, <laughs> But this is, I use that set and this is what that looks like. It just has, I made a, I took out the windows first of all. Uh, there were windows in this room. I took them out and I put in a TV, you know, just some place to chill when it's daylight outside. <laughs> um, yeah, so I love these. These came with the Gothic Glamour set as well. I absolutely love these plants like it's they're awesome they're so gorgeous um but yeah so that is Mona's room it's you know it's it's like a dungeon um <laughs> that is pretty much it um I removed I removed the hot tub right here uh for for money that that was already there for some money um and just threw in some chairs that's pretty much like it so this is their house <laughs> 
Um, everyone is sleeping at the moment. I love this house. I absolutely love it. It's, it's a really good house. And I mean, there's a few things that I would change, but I love this house overall. Look at how awesome it is. It's just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, what are we waiting on? Well, they have to go to work today. Um, so when Liam wakes up, he's going to get promoted too. What time does their thing come? At noon. So they should be waking up right now. Okay, so Liam needs to go use the bathroom and shower. And Mona can also wake up, um, use the bathroom and shower. She There isn't a bathroom um, on this floor here. I mean, there's one like behind here. But it only has a toilet. I guess I could have put a shower in, but you guys see we're poor. Um, that bathroom also came with the house. I didn't furnish that. Um, so she has to go all the way up to her room there. And then we can have her... If she has enough time to drink some plasma juice, and if he has enough time, I guess eat some cereal. What are you going to do? Play with fire? Weirdo. Okay, so we're going to let, um, we're going to wake up Kayla, I think, in a bit. Once, once Mona is dead, we'll wake up Kayla. And then Kayla and Big Hartley can, um, turn my speakers down. And then Kayla and Big Hartley can, um, they can, um, Use that chocolate fountain. Or use the bathroom. Shower. Are there cars here? There they go. There they go. Alright, so we're going to have her fill the chocolate fountain. Now, once you click on that, you can fill the chocolate fountain. You can fill it with caramel, chocolate swirl, uh, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, or white chocolate. We're going to fill it with caramel because I love caramel. Absolutely loves it. A lot, a lot, a lot. I forgot they were married. Um, you hang out with the cast members. You chat at the water cooler. Okay, so she's about to fill it with caramel. Ah, and there it goes. And she's grabbing her some automatically. She, what she did was she picked up some fruit and she dipped it in there. So we're going to have Big Hartley. Now you can have some or drink from the fountain. We're going to have Big Hartley um, drink, come drink from this fountain here. There's 11 servings remaining. It's a well-known fact that vampires do not like the sun. Prolonged exposure may result in loss of supernatural abilities. Uh, Mona should seek UV relief immediately. Okay. Oh, she's getting more. Where's Big Hartley? He's slow. So this is this fountain. This fountain is very cheap in the game. It's only 150 simillions. <laughs> He's making sure no one's looking. And he has his little straw. Is he... It's not really fulfilling him that much. At least not at the moment. Okay, it fulfilled uh -huh. him a little bit. Oh, a lot of it. Um, you can change the current flavor. Let's change it to white chocolate. Oh, that was milk chocolate, I think. I clicked. Move the fuck out of the way, Kayla. She has this tasteless mood lit here. Uh, now that is tasteless. I guess she doesn't like it very much. Oh, here he is. She has these moolets, uh, chocolate bliss. Everything is wonderful when you have enough chocolate and impressed by the chocolate fountain. Um, whenever you're in the room near this chocolate fountain and it's on, you get that impressed by the chocolate fountain moolet, which is awesome. So if you have a hot date, bring her over here. It's plus 20 in her mood. Massage, I think that's plus 25. Great kiss, plus 15 or 10. You guys get it. She'll be hot. I mean, he or she will love you. <laughs> Are they about to flirt with each other? Aww. Oh, he's about to leap into her arms. 
Oh my god, I'm surprised her back isn't broken. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, he has his moolet here. Chocolate shame. If you ask me, it was worth it. That's cute. That is cute. Oh, and then here's another one. Uh, chocolatey goodness. That just happened. No excuses, no regrets. I drank straight from the chocolate fountain. Cool beans. So we're gonna have them. We're gonna have them woohoo here. And Big Hartley ages up in eight days. He's brave, hates the outdoors, a slob, easily impressed, and heavy sleeper. For those of you that want it to know. Oh, he wants how his lifetime wishes lifestyles of the rich and the famous. He has like he has like no stars whatsoever. Oh, and this this gets dirty really fast and it also um makes the counters dirty as soon as it uh not really fast but it gets dirty after one use of it being on for a couple of hours um and it also really really dirties up the counters as well so yeah oh uh, we're actually gonna let them nap for a bit here why does she not have you know what kayla you don't get to nap you my friend need to go serve dinner Serve up some goopy carbonara. What is this? Oh, she's slow. It would be nice if she put some clothes on. I forgot to check his job. What is this? Why are these seas in purple? I don't know why these seas are in purple. Oh, those are when he has a game. Oh, okay. That's, that, I did not even know you could, what is this? When did, the when did this game record come? Like, I have, wow, I've never even, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's awesome. Oh, she did bite Matthew. He's not a vampire yet. So, yeah. And I think all of, both of them got promoted. No, just Liam. Just Liam. I wonder what will happen to Mona if she eats like regular food. Probably nothing. All right, she has that that um powerful strength when she's at night. When it's nighttime. Go feed the di digital fish. Mm. See the food. Oh. <laughs> She's really tired, but I don't care. I'm going to have her um, practice making drinks. Actually, let's have her practice making drinks with Big Harley. Be subjected to mixology practice. One of you guys said he just tastes the drinks and stuff like that. Oh my god, are there seriously no lights up here? There are no lights. Let's throw in some lights here. I don't know what to put. We're just going to put these in here, I guess. Um, Let's throw that one there. That one there. That one there. And then one by the elevator. And then one at the top of the stairs. There we go. And I think we're waiting on Big Harley. Yeah. Yippee, bitch, yippee, bitch. Yippee, bitch. 
Shrooby, Fwiss, Garrick, Harbu. Oh, she hasn't dropped anything yet. Darn. Ah, he's like, yeah, let's see. Let's see what it tastes like. I think he liked it. Did he like it? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. What's wrong with you? Oh, she's gonna go to bed. You are not going to bed, Mona. Did she eat that stuff? I don't know if she ate or not. Mona, why don't you put away the leftovers? And drink some plasma juice. And clean this stuff up here. Everyone's like tired. You're not going to sleep either. You call and chat with um, Ruby Muddler. Because that's who you're going to woohoo with next. I bet she's like going to be a nasty alder by the time we get to her. And then you call and you chat with him. And then you can go to bed, Mona. And once you're done chatting uh, with her, um, you... Actually, you chat with her again. Where is she? And then you can go to sleep. Are they still practicing? Yeah. Alright, she's now a level 7. Um, Kayla's probably skilled enough to seek work at some of the higher class establishments in the area. Classier clientele means better tips, but these sims will want better quality drinks and sometimes will order specific a specific type of mood drink and get up uppity if Kayla can't serve it. She had better be well practiced in serving a variety of drinks. Okay. What does she want to mix an energy drink? Let's have her mix because she needs an energy drink. Um, make mood drinks, yeah, energy eat. drinks. <sighs> and we can also create a drink and name our own drink as well once it's what? created. Joanna King is apparently not interested in fixing who was dating fucking Joanna King. Big Harley. Right? Oh no. Doesn't he have an ex? Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck her. We don't care about her. We really don't. Uh Big Harley, why don't you practice a trick shot? Um the putt putt gnome. Yeah. Oh, Grimble. Uh -huh. Oh, look at it. Oh, God. Only one of them came out as an energy drink. Let's have her drink it. Drink the energy drink. She just put the whole glass in your mouth. Why don't you? Okay, so she has this wide awake mood lit. Obviously, she's going to stay wide awake for five hours. Um, that means this, being this tired will not have much of an effect on her. Um, let's make a uh, mood drink, skill gaining drinks. I love how they're in, like, their undies. Yeah, I guess Big Heart is like, this is my house. I can do what the fuck I want to do. And so can my lady. So can my lady. Oh. Look at that. They're all, look at that. All of them are skill drinks this time. Remember when they were all like this nasty color here? So we're going to drink the skill gaining drink. Oh, she has to go tinkle first. I can let her tinkle. Does she work tomorrow? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't work tomorrow. That has to hurt. Like, after the first time, wouldn't you stop? <laughs> I guess some people just won't learn. There's Mona. Why isn't she in her undies? I don't know. And then there he is sleeping. So tomorrow, I guess tomorrow night, we will have um, 
we'll have her go to I think she can do it at dance clubs now a lounge or lounge we'll go to a lounge we'll go to a lounge and uh the fancy lounge or the vampire lounge because that's that's always packed and then we'll have her bartend there so pretty much with that skill drink she has a um a cerebral boost pretty much obviously she can learn skills faster um but she's tired so we'll let her go to bed oops that's his room this house is a little weird to kind of maneuver around and then when big hartley's done learning that he can go to bed as well i when did this game day thing happen I don't remember that being like this. Whatever. Before. Oh. Alright, so we're going to let them sleep pretty much. But Hartley's just going to sit there. And then we'll pick up in the morning when they wake up. And we'll have Kayla go to, some, go to the Vampire Lounge and do drinks and stuff. Alright, guys? Alrighty, so everyone is pretty work out until you become pumped. We can do that. Okay, so everyone is pretty much up. I wanted to show you guys the chocolate fountain. This is what happens when it gets rotten, spoiled. And if this was on a counter, the counter would be disgusting as well. It looks like she's about to clean it out too. So And that is what you get. So that's the chocolate fountain. Ch chocolate fountain, I believe. Um, according to Sims VIP or VIPSims.com, um, it is available for individual sale at the moment. I think so. So if you want to buy that, it's 500 Sim points, which is about five American dollars. Um, why don't you, Mona? You're so disgusting. Oh, today is Kayla's birthday. Also. You know, cool, cool, right, right? Aww. Aww. Well, who is she doing that Oh, to? I guess we have to get Matthew Hamming over and get him in the sack. He does have commitment issues, though. So it might be a little hard. Gonna put this on speed too, just to speed this process up, process up a bit. And then we're gonna have her kick those up a notch and put those leftovers away. This is a lot. Oh, and I forgot, guys. The best part, well, one of the best parts about late night is that, of course, you can get a butler and treat it like shit, and then it runs away, and then you don't know why until you realize, oh, I treated it like shit. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I'm gonna buy a bed for the butler. Um, I want a good bed, but I don't want, I guess this is a good bed, um, for the butler, I know, right? We're putting him, he's sleeping in the garage next to the band room at that to make it like 10 times worse. I know, I know. Oh, well. Um, but we're going to, we're going to buy the butler. We can't afford a butler right now. Um, let's, I don't know actually if we can afford a butler at the moment, but um, this will be the butler's room area, I guess you can call it. He doesn't even get a room. He gets an area and in an and an area in the garage at that. Oopsie, oh well. One, see this is why I love you guys. I don't remember who it was, but it was a long time ago when I was having, it was during my Generations LP, I think. I think, yeah. Yeah, because we were in Bridgeport. I had, a, I had problems uh, centering these lamps. One of you guys were like, press M. Thank you, you saved my life, seriously. Um, so, that's where we're going to put the butler. Is this, I think this is like the vampire rock right there. Why are you not going to work? Oh, your car isn't here yet. Um, okay, so, let's see how much money we're making. 
Um, yeah, they, they, I, I can't believe they're like, they suck this bad. Big Hartley, you needed some exercise equipment. We're gonna buy him some exercise equipment. Um, let's put it in his room. His old ass is gonna be on the treadmill. Uh, let's see here. Actually, one thing is, I had a six, my sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Boyer. She was 50 something years old and she every morning she ran five miles that is freaking inspirational i tell you like every morning she ran five miles it was i i mean just like seriously here i am in the sixth grade i was like 12 13 whatever 12 11 whatever at the time and my teacher is running five miles and i can't even run a mile you know i just don't have the 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 cardio like to run a mile you know I don't work out that much I used to actually not anymore though one high school a little bit but yeah so it was just like it was it's crazy you know five miles every single morning and she's like you know because the older you get the weaker you get at least that's what they say it, it was that was awesome okay so we're gonna have him actually do good pacing because you're gonna be on that treadmill until you pass out so he's going to work out, gain some athletic skill. And look, we're poor again. Luckily, Kayla here. Why are you so lonely? Why is Kayla always lonely? Always, without fail. Um, Why don't you call this chick here? What's her name? Peyton Suzuki. Like the car. <laughs> call Peyton until 2 o'clock, and then we're going to go to the Vampire Lounge. Prosper 501, Plasma 501, why? Whatever. We're gonna go to the Vampire Lounge and um, bartend and see if see how much money Kayla makes for the day or the night as a level seven bartender mixologist, as they like to be called. Oh, that's lucky run, lovely run through the gates before they actually open. Oh, the bills. I, oopsie, don't get the mail. Oh, it's mail. What mail could we possibly have? Oh, wedding gifts? Poss I don't know. Okay. This is um, Liam's car, by the way. She's stealing. This will make... Having a car makes everything so much easier. They don't have to worry about going... Um, they don't have to worry about going to the subway, which takes a, lo a longer... A lot longer. This place is smoking hot right now. Hopefully, you should get some good tips then darn it hopefully we can we can actually bartend here um yes moonlight as mixologists come on what is your problem haha <laughs> don't be silly you can't handle this bar you need more practice first ah uh, you need more mixology practice this is like a monkey asking to saddle up on a t-rex screw you chick with the braids um let's see here um so we need to go somewhere else. Let's go to the Brightmore doesn't open. Let's go to let's go to Ouija's then, I guess, for a while. That sucks. I was I was banking on, you know, that money. Whatever. We will moonlight at Ouija's. Moonlight as mixologist. All right, he's become pumped and he got some athletic skill. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Oh. Ah. No. Oh. All right. Oh, oh God. No comment. All right. So she's going to moonlight for a bit and we'll see how much money she makes in the long run. It doesn't look like many people are coming, right? I don't think so. Oh, there's people coming. One person. Uh, hopefully they order something. And tip us well. Just 
check out Big Hartley. Kayla has learned to make a new, an amazing new drink. Uh, shalinga? Shaling? Shalala? Sh oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. And there's Big Harley. Did he really lose weight that fast? I think he did. He lost a lot of weight really fast. She wants to join the acting career branch, so we can do that. That should be next, right? Yes. Yes. Ooh. And does she have everything good? Oh, she needs to learn charisma! Her charisma skill. What is this? Play a four-player game of pool. That will probably never happen, Liam. Well, I guess it could, but... We're not going to promise you that. Okay, so she is thirsty. Where's Matthew? He's not a vampire yet. There's a stocky ice cream truck. Um, let's see here. Where do we want to go? Who do we know? Let's go to the vampire lounge. Where's the vampire lounge? Uh, Mona, you're all the way there. Go to the vampire lounge. Oopsie. Where are we? Mona, where are you? Are you stuck? Yeah, you're st I can't get you there, Mona. Let's see. Let's do this. Yeah, it's not working. There we go. <laughs> Uh, go to level 26. She's like freaking out. Oh, Matthew should have went straight home after work. Nope. Let's invite him. Go home. Liam, you, my friend, go to the vampire lounge and party it up. Mona got home quick. Alright, so we're going to invite Matthew Hamming over. Invite over. Alright, cool, cool. I don't know if she's making any money or not. So we're going to go here and wait for Matthew to come. There he is. There he is. He's not a vampire yet. Um, invite inside. <laughs> dag dag. Huh? What does she want to do? Consume plasma juice. I guess that'll happen eventually. Who me? Meep's on. All right, we're gonna drink from him because she's gonna get hungry. She's getting thirsty. Yeah, she's thirsty. He should be like a vampire by now. Oh my god. Okay. Romantic. Morris hug. Oopsie. Um, flirt. 
Perform at Ouija's. Yay, another band gig. I don't even know if Barry Tinderlove is still alive. He is. Finally got another gig. Finally. Oh, what's this? Oh, Kayla's birthday. Yay. Does it say how much she made? Is a $74. Oh, She's totally cross-eyed. Okay, so Kayla's now fully mature. Woot woot. Let's see here. Uh, sure, whoever that is. Look at her, she's so cross-eyed. <laughs> she's so cross-eyed. And my game froze. Oh, darn it, she's not cross-eyed anymore. Oh, she's having a midlife crisis as well. That's just lovely. Oopsie, no, we don't want a moonlight. Go here. Alright. Order food, single serving of onion rings, and then order a drink, Cherry Casanova. Actually, order um, the Party Popper. Yeah. Okay. Dang it, where did Matthew go? Oh, here he is. Morris Hug. Uh, uh, flirt. I think he is flirty, so he'll like that. Oh, he's a vampire! We missed Matthew's transformation into a freaking vampire. Flirtatious joke. Jo what's that joke? Alrighty, um... Our tubes pansaki. Ma kirixili fragani? Barzo, what he got? Smushla. Where are you going? Oh, watching the stars. Okay. Alright, guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this part here. I bet this part is really long and watch it only be like 30 minutes. It feels like a really long time. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave off here. Um, I think it would be nice to see vampire babies, don't you think? <laughs> um, but it's still part, it's only part, um, 11, so we have a long time to go. Um, but I will talk to you guys all later, okay? You all have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day, and yeah. Alright guys, bye!